Hello YouTube, Nathan. Uh, this is an update for my soda dispenser idea. I have, uh, if I can be able to get a close-up shot of it. Okay. I have a valve, uh, two, uh, what was it? half inch, uh, pipe, uh, connection to the bottle which is uh, kind of like a uh, uh, a hose pipe or something like that and a third going uh, to the pump Oop, get it right here a little pump with a one-way get the light in there with a one-way valve now I have run the tube through the uh, third way down into the bottle where it would keep the pressure. This is what I call my fizz keeper. And also creates pressure uh, just to get in there. Now. Give me a second. Now. Uh, it would be simple just to. Whoop, I think things knocking over. Uh, it would just be simple just to connect the thing and pump it up. I was thinking, anyone have an idea for a, a DUI uh, electric switch? It would uh, it'd be something like a spring-loaded uh, plunger with a, a screw nut to adjust the pressure of the spring pushing on the plunger that way. And also... Uh, the plunger would be hooked up to a switch which would turn it on or off if it got so far to turn on the pump well at the moment I have uh, created sufficient pressure in my bottle no leaks I did have to adapt the uh, uh, little thing up there I had to put another uh, rubber gasket on there because when I put it on the ca uh, put it on the bottle, it didn't want to fix tightly, and it was loose. Had problems there. Anyway, get to the uh, point of the get a little more light here. Anyway. Okay, here we go. Just a tiny, tiny little uh, thing. By the way, I'm using tap water right now. Anyway. Um, that's uh, the experiment uh, for now. Uh, the top, uh, the uh, suggestions I was thinking. Sorry, the next upgrade to this uh, uh, device would be some sort of pressure valve that would turn on and off the pump. Because uh, when I was uh, doing this, I can feel already there's pressure lost in uh, the bottle. Now, as I said, uh, using a spring, a tiny plunger, which is affixed to a maybe maybe a couple of pins that uh, would go across a either like a not a mo momentary switch, but a uh, uh, a rocker switch or some sort of switch so when it goes to one point it clicks on the switch and then when you lose pressure it goes back and, or the other way around um, something like that um, more pressure would move the switch up turning it off less pressure uh, would uh, pull the switch back and turn on the uh, pump Uh, this typical switch would be used in, um, uh, what is it, uh, the pressure tank in a home water system or something like that, uh, I've forgotten, my brain stopped working right now. It's in the 90s right now and I'm trying to uh, work, I'm trying to speak my mind which is frying 
Uh, I just dumped this water on my face. Oh, whatever. Do -do -do Douche. Right. Well, my brain stopped uh, working right now. Um, where was I? Um, pressure tank, home pressure tank switch, pressure switch, which turns on and off the water. When it gets high, it uh, flicks a switch, turning the pump off. When it goes low, it, which I said uh, earlier with this, I'm sorry, I'm babbling. Anyway, if anyone has any ideas on a DUI pressure switch that could be made be made out of PVC, uh, drop me a line, add a comment. Uh, Put a link up uh, for uh, someone who has made a such a low budget pressure switch. I'm guessing it would. Well, yeah, definitely. It'd be probably a no, no, no. Maybe a, I don't know if it would be a two way or three way because this one would be there. Two way, okay, two way. That would be another. The, my brain stopped working. How would that work? Oh yeah, put it. Uh, yeah, put another three way on there. One that goes up, and then one uh, uh, maybe have a uh, angle to it, and switch, switch, and tube. Oh, yeah. Figuring out piping is not easy. Anyway, thank you for watching. Comment link. Suggest, I can uh, use as many suggestions as possible, ideas. Thank you for watching and thank you for listening.